expen- Look, Simon got to expensive go as a motherfucking on us. God damn, Balenciaga from head to toe. Shit. You're talking about everybody else's shoes. He got on some of the most expensive ones in the whole motherfucking And the backpack. You got to peep the backpack. And the backpack. God. This week four, man. I got to look like you know. I got to, you got to see the growth, man. I ain't, <laughs> y'all gonna stop, y'all can't play me cheap. Oh, I'm winning, man. <laughs> I know that's fuck you, fuck niggas. Man. That ain't up. It's simple as that. You should have been up. Should've you had up. time. Dumb it. But look, I go by the name of Truth Teller Young Skills. I'm joined by Trooper Deuces holding us down on the camera, and we here with the one and only Simon Motherfucking Says. How you feeling, my nigga? Man, I'm good, man. Episode four in the raps. We know who going to the finals. Man, I got to hold the money tonight. Oh, man, I want to get in this conversation. Oh, man, they said uh, y'all got 1800 It was 1800 right? Yeah, yes. Uh, 1750 man. 1750 Hey, Maybe, on a maybe. Okay, oh, nah, you'll be getting $100, <laughs> guaranteed $100, $99.99. We're going to just work on the prices. Nah, for real, man. The winner wins $2,500 in cash and $2,500 in prizes. Look, I told Eddie in the fucking parking lot, nigga, I'm about to write some fucking jokes. What you talking about? Yeah, Eddie was on our parking lot pimping episode. Go to live from the Southside Park, podcast.com right now. Check uh-huh. out the new parking lot pimping episode featuring Eddie Kane. That was fire. He was showing y'all that real money, them real stacks. But yeah, Simon, my brother, how was it hosting this number four? Man, this was easy. This one was the toughest one. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It was right. like the voting. Every comedian did their thing. I didn't really have to do a whole, whole lot, you know, just to cover the time. But man, not for lab purposes. They did their thing, man. They did their thing. They did. I think this pool of comedians was way sharper. It keep getting better and better and better and better. Right. Every um, time. But this one to me was the, the sharpest pool of comedians, man. I don't know. How you feel about that, though? I know. For real. Like, and I know most of them, I, I've been on the scene with most of them. I'm so proud of my brothers and sisters. They all doing their thing, man. We could only have one winner. When this air, we'll find out who that is. But I'm so proud of everyone that's been participating so far, man. It's an honor to host this thing for real. Man, I'm right. That's dope as shit. We can't tell you who the winner is, but to me, it was a surprise. This one, the winner I thought was going to win. It was either one or two. The person that I thought was going to be one or two did win. You know, like, like you said, I had that person in a one or two slot. Yeah. I am in one or two it was a 50 50 so yeah, I, was I, was I was close i was close i was close 50 50 with me because the expansion they're able to uh vocabulate and see a lot of things traveling and everything so they articulate they're able to have more material it's different they see life different so and then they got time man so i expected what i expected that's dope see simon has a perspective that a lot of you don't really have but because he's been one of those traveled and seasoned motherfuckers he tries to act humble uh shout outs to simon making moves for real mary and barry uh we're gonna talk about that later he gonna be on another episode because once again our episode with him got a clip of over thirty thousand views right now you know what i mean we're doing numbers so we're gonna be doing some work with this nigga again and again and again but simon troop has some questions for you i just have one stupid one but we're gonna get into the one that makes sense first you know what i mean Simon, my brother Simon, my brother Simon, check it out. For your roast, who would be your top five comedians to roast you? It don't matter who they are, where they come from, who their mama is, who their cousin is. Five comedians for your roast. Corey Holcomb. Damn, that's like the third motherfucker. Ever. Lisa Lampanelli. Oh, she funny. She white. It's a white, white woman. She funny as a mother. Lawrence Owens. Okay, L.O. That's like the three, third one for L.O. Richard Pryor. Okay. Dig his ass up. Right. My fifth comedian, I'm gonna have to go because I like his body of work, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy? I think that was two for Eddie yeah. Murphy. That's dope. I'm gonna keep it real, Mo. Nah, somebody did say I'm Eddie gonna keep Murphy. it real. I feel like, and feel how y'all want to feel, but I really feel like, stand up wise, Eddie Murphy was overrated. Yep. I said, I said it. it. I he said ain't come it. no come. I, nah, he ain't come. Don't right, he, man, look at I this knew nigga. he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna do that. <laughs> no. I knew he was we gonna keeping do that. It. We keeping no it. No LO. We keeping it. No, Fuck no. that. I'm gonna say this. I said his body of work. I do feel like you feel if you stand up wise, stand he wasn't wise. the greatest. But his body of work for what he did, it's uh, impactful. I don't I know, man. Saying, I, I, I think, think he up there. I think he overrated. I don't I don't say overrated. I don't say overrated. I don't think he's stand up wise, he is the top five funniest mm-hmm. but his body of work and able to do what he did at 19 hush and- hush hello he gave he paved the way for the kevin Hawes, the martin lawrence's of the world you yeah know, like, i like, get like, that like, like, i get like, that but i don't know man i, I watched hey listen <laughs> I watched and it was, it's just oh he's just overrated you remember him me, at man. the table he was like 
five or six characters that one take, but all of them was him. Yeah, one of that's the first the people to do that. In the movies, yes, he vicious, but stand up wise, yeah, I just body think, of work, nigga. I, I just think he's overrated. Work. He led with I body of work. It, I said it. Eddie Murphy is overrated. You heard it stand here from live wise. from the South Side first. Now, Simon, my question for you is a dumb one. Now, if you have a gun put to your head, you can only choose one of these. They taking one and leaving you with one. Which one are you keeping? <laughs> They want to take one, your eyebrows or your eyelashes. Which one do you want to have? I can get new lashes from the store like women do, so they can take my eyebrows. Boy, you gonna get new lashes? If I gotta take, if I gotta give up one, I can get new lashes. You get at the store the ones, these ones, these ones. I'm gonna buy at CVS for like three dollars. Oh man, goddamn! All right, everybody keeping their goddamn eyebrows. I'm gonna find one yeah. motherfucker to give up them damn eyebrows. Somebody giving them shits up. Fuck that. We almost do with these interviews. No. You got cerebral palsy or some shit. You take Real life. <laughs> Close like your eyes. Ain't nothing there, man. They're going to be looking weird as shit. Niggas, you gonna be Shout looking out like to everybody toe, with dog. cerebral I'm palsy. Sorry I'm sorry for that. God, I'm sorry. I love Jesus. Okay, anyway, so you know Trooper, what? That you, brings me on. into my next question. If anything, what is completely taboo I'm talking about on stage for a comedian? For you. Completely off limits. What subject is completely off limits? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I mean... Nothing. I think you can make anything funny. Come oh, on, it's just how you present it. I think you can make anything funny. You know, uh, people might get up here and say kids and all that. Nah, to me, anything can be funny. Well, the one, the, the one we heard, because everybody pretty much said that it's nothing that they wouldn't talk about. Except, Except the, you know, the alphabet people. The alphabets. They don't want to talk about Not alphabets. ATF and and FBI. No. DEA. Like I said, nothing. Nothing. Alphabet included. Nothing. Simple as that. If you, you okay, I'm gonna talk about it all. If I feel like talking about alphabet people, they're gonna get talked about. You know, they talk about everybody right. else. You know what I'm saying? We right. started to make. We started. It was cool when we was fighting for you know them to be you know not bully, but now they starting to get bills passed, and it's like, man, hold on, man, they starting to get a lot of stuff. Right. You know, like, nah, we gotta stop that, man. We can't pacify that just because they take a dick to this work. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's weird. Where, man, where is the Rico case for the alphabet boys? <laughs> they need a Rico case on them. Not gonna happen. I didn't think so. Before we go any further, though, Simon, do me a favor. Tell them where they can find you, follow you, and watch you. Follow me on everything. Simon says crazy too on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. That's where I'm at. Hell yeah. And it's straight like that. This has been a comedy episode. The That Ain't It Comedy Competition Compet- episode four. We're going to get it out. Four. One way or the other. <laughs> um, I'm True Telly on Skills. That's True Produce holding us down on the camera. This is Simon Says. And we see y'all next time. Yo. Peace. Next time.